Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video for you because I'm doing a review of all of these um, cleansing oils. And I definitely have a couple favorites out of these, but we'll see how they work on the skin. Now I'm not going to do them uh, on my face, I'm going to try them on my hands. And I have these products set out here and I'm going to put the same products on my hand time after time and use each product um, on my hand. So what I have here, I have the Professional by Benefit uh, Make It Forever uh, HD. I have the, it's the older one. The, what is this, Maybelline? Yeah, M Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, um, an Elf Blush Quad. And I'm pretty, for the most part, just gonna use this one here. And, We'll see if that will stay up there. Uh, two eyeliners. I have uh, Max Teddy, and then this is a Mally eyeliner in Midnight. And then the MAC uh, Giga Black Clash, and then Anastasia's um, Liquid Lipstick in Blush. And for a couple of videos, I'm going to use the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. You'll, you'll see why. I'll tell you why. I'm also going to set, um, set it every time with the MAX uh, Fix Plus. So, um, first of all, I have the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. And then the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. And then the Marula Foaming Cleansing Oil. Next is the Bliss Lid and Lash. That's hard to say. Bliss Lid and Lash Wash Makeup Remover. You have to say that kind of slow. Um, next we have the Bliss Fabulous Makeup Melt. And then lastly is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. So, I will um, get my first hand, my first hand, no. I'll get my hand ready for the first uh, cleansing oil and I'll see you back in just a minute. Start with my hand here. And you can see the products that I've used. I'm gonna use these in every, <clears throat> um, with every demo. And I've got all of these here and these here. So I'm going to start with the Body Shop um, Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. And this one's uh, for all skin types. It is um, Okay, so you can see my skin here. Uh, I have the foundation over here with some uh, blush. I've got three colors of eyeshadow, two liners. The mascara is here. I've got concealer here and the Anastasia liquid lipstick there. And I sprayed it with the MAC uh, Fix Plus, which isn't over here. Actually, I forgot to bring it. But I'm going to start out with the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil, and this is for all skin types. So what you do is you start out with um, dry hands. I have the stuff on my hands, but uh, dry hands on a um, dry face. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do basically one pump. Um, oh, this closed. One pump. Hopefully you're still. Yep, you're still on the screen. Well, I'll just do two, okay. And you just work it into the skin. And you can see that it is really dissolving everything. You have to work a little harder with the mascara sometimes. And I don't use um, waterproof mascara, so I don't have a hard time with it. There you go. I mean, it's gone. So I'm going to turn the hot water on. And rinse. Yeah. 
and it is gone. And you can see um, there is nothing on the towel. Nice, right? Okay. So I'll be back. Okay, this. so I am back. And as you can see, I have everything the same except I think I reversed the colors of the eyeshadow. And this time I'm going to try the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. And this is the um, travel size, which I got at Sephora. And it comes with this little doohickey, which I really like because you can take it and travel with it and it doesn't um, get all over your stuff. So I really like that. All right, so same thing. You um, apply to dry skin, gently massage onto the face, pour it in a circular motion. And uh, it says effectively deep cleanse and it, is, it dissolves impurities in makeup without leaving an oily residue. Okay, awesome. So I'm just gonna use one because that was one big squirt there okay so same thing you can see that it's really dissolving the makeup and this has more of a um, what kind of scent I don't know I don't want to describe that scent because it's not at all overpowering there's a small scent, but not anything to turn anyone off. Okay, I'm going to work at that mascara a little bit, but I think I put a little bit more on. But remember, this is nowhere near what's going to be on your eyes. I mean, I just had to swipe, you know, at my skin. So, there you go. Knocked everything down. Ooh, that's hot. and it's gone so that was the Bosha makeup breakup cool cleansing oil okay and I will get reset with the makeup and I'll be back in just a minute and I have my hand reset but this time it's a little different because I am going to try this marula oil and this is a foaming cleansing oil but it's not for the eyes which I don't know how I feel about that because if I'm going to be my nails are all dirty from from using all this product anyway if I'm going to be cleansing my face I don't want to have to keep away have to avoid my eye area and it does say that specifically on the back uh, this oil is a little different though you do um, combine it with water so the oil foams and you don't use it dry like the rest of the oils you uh, use dry so um, I'm only using face products I used the make it forever um, three of the blushes in here in the elf um, quad and then the Anastasia liquid lipstick and then I set it well, I set it first with the MAC and then I use the liquid lipstick. Okay, so I guess I will use over here. I have no strength in my left hand, my non dominant hand, like none. I guess just a few. Oh my god. Okay, I got um, just a little bit there. And I'm going to, it says it makes a foam, so let's first, is it making a foam? How much do you have to use? Okay, well, I don't know. All right, you see how much I'm using, and that's how much I used before, both times. I don't know how much of a phone this is supposed to make, but here I go. This 
isn't I'm having to rub a little harder it's taking a little longer it actually kind of got up here and stained okay well it left the liquid lipstick there and I don't really feel like it's too clean. Yeah, you can see it left the liquid lipstick and then something else right there. So I'm not sure about that one. This one, eh, I don't know about that. So, okay, so we're gonna go move on to the next one. And the next one is going to be um, one that is only for the eyes so whereas this one was just for the face we're going to use one that's only for the eyes so i'll be back in just a minute okay so i'm back and this time i'm going to be using the bliss lid and lash wash makeup remover so this is marketed just as um, a remover for the lid and lashes and We'll see about that. <laughs> um, I have used it and I can go ahead and tell you that I'm not just terribly impressed with it. Um, now for this one I didn't put on anything over here except for the um, things for your eyes and I did introduce something else. I brought in the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion so I put that on underneath and I used some stuff from the um, Naked Basics palette here and I brought in another color the black. Um, I did two, a couple of swipes of, um, on each side of the mascara because of course you're going to have a ton of mascara and I did put some concealer under here because obviously you're going to have concealer on your eyes. Okay, so um, this does say that it quickly dissolves your makeup. There's a calming cooling gel, it's a calming cooling gel formula. That is true. Um, it is cooling. And it does say to saturate a cotton square and gently cleanse makeup from eye area. Repeat if necessary. All right. So if you haven't used these, just FYI, I got these at um, Ulta. And I really like these. They're really, really soft. And I like them better than, I don't think I have any of the round, um, round pads from wherever. Um, I don't tend to like those. Anyway, so you can see it's just a gel like consistency. And it doesn't, the thing about it is that it doesn't um, saturate into your whatever it is, your pad, whatever it is that you have um, to put it on. So that's a little weird. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on here and just let it sit there for a second and see what happens. Now, like it does, like it says, it is cooling which can be a good thing and a bad thing, you know, because if you put it on your eyes and it's kind of like a shock to your eyes. So it just depends on how you feel about that. So I just let that sit there and I brought it off and there's nothing there. That was, that right there, if you can see that, that was from my finger. <laughs> so that's not from that. So we can wipe and some of it's coming off. So that's a good thing. So this is good. And I'm wiping pretty hard. So how hard do you want to wipe? I'm wiping really hard. How hard do you want to wipe your eyes? I don't want to wipe my eyes that hard. I don't, I just don't like that. Um, so this is not my favorite. Um, I mean it doesn't feel bad it has an okay texture and it doesn't really have a scent but it's just not my favorite I don't prefer to be really rough on um, all my eyes it's just not a good thing um, but for what it is there you go if it's something that you prefer then it might be something that you want to get a sample of but um, it's not my favorite so 
there you go. Um, if you want to see what it looks like, there you go. Um, but, so we have two more, and I will get reset, and I'll be back in just a minute. Now I have the regular setup here with everything on my hand as normal. And this time I'm using the Bliss Fabulous Makeup Melt. And this is a gel to oil formula, okay? So what you're gonna do is put it on your hand, massage it in and it turns, or put it on your face rather, massage it in and it turns to an oil. So again, dry skin, and let me just show you the texture of it. So um, it is a gel, and you can already see that it's kind of turning oily there. Okay, so just put it on. I'm, I put it on a lot, actually. So it goes on the skin, massage, and you can see that it turns kind of oily. And it starts breaking everything up. You can see, though, that it's a little thicker than... Um, Let's see, the Body Shop Chamomile and the Bosha. Um, now, this is doing nothing on the mascara. You can see that. It did fine on the liquid lipstick. I'm assuming on the uh, foundation, and it did on also on the um, eyeshadow, but nothing nothing on the mascara. I mean, there are little particles, but I would really, more than likely what you'd have to do is, obviously this is the Bliss, and the one that I used before was the Bliss Lid and Lash, so you'd have to use um, those in combination with each other. So I'm going to take this off. And you can see that it still left some residue there, which would um, hopefully your cleanser would get it off. And it is pretty oily when you're finished. Um, and that's something that I really haven't mentioned. But, you know, when I use the other... Um, products they haven't been so oily when, when I'm finished but anyway so that's um, the bliss fabulous makeup melt gel to oil cleanser so I have one more and I'll get set up again and I will be right back. okay so I'm back and the last cleansing oil that I have is probably the most expensive and this is the Tatcha pure one-step camellia cleansing oil and I feel like Maybe this is the one that really started the interest in all the cleansing oils. And I used to have the full size of this cleansing oil, and I used all of it. I loved it. And this is actually the, Tatcha is actually the very um, first video that I did on YouTube. I did a review on uh, two, I believe two of the Tatcha products. And I will um, put a link to it if I remember to, to do that. And this is just the uh, a travel size, and it's still luxurious. I mean, all of their products, their packaging is so luxurious, and it's hard. I mean, it's like glass. It's glass, and it's just so pretty. I mean, it comes with a pump, everything. I mean, it's just nice detail. Anyway, I'm really hoping that I still have some in here. Anyway. So, same thing, melts away makeup for petal fresh skin, massage a quarter size amount onto dry face um, with dry hands for 10 seconds and rinse, rinse away. Alright, so I don't know what a quarter size is, but I'm assuming that is. And it smells just really nice, really fresh. Okay, so here it goes. I'm massaging. And I never used that much um, with Tatcha for one because it was so dang expensive and then another I really didn't feel like I needed to I'm having to work a little bit with, with that um, mascara but and it's done 
Okay, so I had a bit of interruption, but you see that I left everything. Um, so it's gone. So let me rinse. And there's nothing on my hand. So Tatcha is a great product. I am going to put some lotion on my hands because my hand is screaming. I'm actually using the Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair Unscented. This is what I got from the um, Influencer Box and I actually did a, a, a review on it. I'll try to link it if I remember. I liked it so much that I went and got a small one to put in my purse. Anyway, so my favorites are definitely this one from the body shop, the chamomile. And there's actually a chamomile um, butter, cleansing butter, that I really like as well. But this one, and also the Tatcha, uh, is a favorite. It's just expensive. So um, I really don't um, have it invested in this one. I only got the trial size. And then also, I don't have it over here, but the Bosha uh, is a really good one actually let me just walk around and get that one this one so I like this one this one and this one but if you have any others that you really like tell me below and I would like to know so that I can try it out because I'm always up for trying something new so I hope you all have a great day I hope you like this video and I will talk to you all very soon bye guys